Hello, kids. How are you today? Welcome back to Reading for Vocabulary. Are you excited to learn about sports? Do you like sports? Do you like to play sports, or do you like to watch sports? Maybe you like to do both. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about sports in this lesson, and we're going to be focusing on the ancient Olympics. So let's learn about the history. Of the Olympics, so you know about the Olympics, right? The Olympics, where every country in the world competes, and there's television, and you can watch it on TV, and you can cheer for your own nation. Of course, that happens every four years. But we're not talking about the modern Olympics. We're talking about the ancient Olympics in this lesson. Ancient means a long, long time ago. Thousands of years ago, before television, right? Before many nations in the world, there was the ancient Olympics, and these were held in Greece. Okay, athletes, athletes from different cities in ancient Greece would get together and they would compete. They would have a contest in many different sports. Where would they do it? They would do it. Under Mount Olympus, Mount Olympus is where the Greeks thought the gods lived at the top of the mountain, and the mountain was called Olympus, and so they called it the Olympic Games. And like I said, from many different cities in Greece, the athletes would come and compete. And of course, ancient Greece is very famous, right, for not only many old buildings and many. Impressive and beautiful、uh, structures, but also because of their culture and their way of thinking. But they were the ones who created the Olympics in the beginning, thousands of years ago, the ancient Olympics. So that's what we're going to read about in this lesson. But before we do that, let's learn some vocabulary. Okay, and our first word is a person who is very famous. Of course. You know many people who are famous singers, actors on television, actors in the movie. What do we call these people? It starts with a C. It is celebrity. Celebrity is a person who is very, very famous, and everybody knows who that person is. Okay. What's the next word? The next word is a bird. No, it's not a bird. It's a thing or idea that can represent another idea. The example is a bird. The example is a dove. When people see a dove, what do they think of? They think of peace. So the dove is a symbol, a symbol of peace. So if you can look at animals, you can look at flags. The Teguki, the Korean flag, is a symbol for Korea, right? So it's a thing or idea that can represent another idea, right? So this thing here, the dove, represents the idea of peace. Okay, next word. Ooh, whoa! He is very angry. Be careful, Joshua. Right? He looks like very, very. Uh, dangerous dog, right? Strong and dangerous, right? Joshim Hale. So, what is the word that we use? We use. It's not dog. It's fierce. <laughs> okay, fierce. Now, I have a dog, a beagle, but she's not fierce. She's very lovable and cute. But this dog, woo, Joshim Hale, right? This dog is very fierce, strong and dangerous. Okay, next one. Four. No smoking. To let someone do something, to let someone do something is to allow them to do something. But if you have a sign that says no smoking, this would be not allow someone to do something. So the picture and the word are a little bit mismatched, but that's okay because、um, if we allow people to smoke here, then there's no sign, right? That means we let them do something. If your mother lets you play video games after dinner, then she's allowing you to do that. But do your homework first, okay? Okay. Next one. Ah, a race. To be part of a race or other competition. What do we say? We say it is 
compete, to be part. This is a verb, right? Because you are part of a race or other competition. If you are in a race or another competition, it doesn't have to be a race. It could be a chess game, maybe a chess tournament, or it could be a soccer game, right? It could be anything where you compete. Compete is a verb. You, it's like you're not really fighting against somebody, but you're using your skill against another person to win. You are competing. Okay, and of course, compete is a verb, and we have competition, right? Competition is the noun, and competition is a game or any other contest where you use your skill to win. Okay, next one. A feeling of doing well so others can see. A feeling of doing well so others can see. We say this is pride, right? If he's on the football team, he's a very young football player, he won, right? He has the trophy. His team won the competition. So he has a lot of pride. He has pride, but be careful, he is proud. So pride is the noun. Uh, we can say, um, uh, he shows his pride. In this case, pride is a noun. But be careful, we can also say he is proud, which is also very common. But in this case, proud is an adjective, right? This is noun, okay? So he shows his pride, or he has pride. Next, he is proud proud adjective. So be careful with the word form. Okay, next, more than normal. If something is more than normal, what do we say? We say especially. Especially is kind of like when you want to point out something in particular, some special case, right? Uh, then we use especially. Okay, to go somewhere. Well, perhaps when you're older, you can travel around the world like this young girl is doing here. She's traveling. Looks like she's in France, in Paris. To go somewhere is to travel, right? To travel, you can travel around the world. Next one. This is a sport where athletes wear gloves and hit each other. You know this sport, right? You've seen this before. These guys are being safe. They're wearing gloves and they're wearing a padded helmet, right? What are they doing, right? They're doing this sport. It's not wrestling, not wrestling. It is boxing, boxing. Now, be careful. Boxing is a noun. It's the name of the sport. A few days ago, I was in my neighborhood and I saw a poster. Somebody opened a boxing gym and they wanted to be funny. Do you know the movie, Shall We Dance? Well, they use that idea for the movie title, and on their, on their poster, they put, shall we boxing? And I thought, what? Shall we boxing? No. It should be, shall we box? Because box is a verb. Boxing is a noun, right? The movie is not called, shall we dancing? No, shall we dance? Shall we box, okay? Because box is the verb. So be careful again of the word form. I-N-G is a noun, boxing. I like boxing. Can you box? Okay, next word. Parts of a plant tied together in a circle. At Christmas time, we can see these many people put them on their doors. They hang them on their doors. It's like, Happy Christmas or Merry Christmas, right? We call it a wreath, okay? But it's not just for Christmas. Wreaths can be used for other occasions, but most common people think of a wreath at Christmas time. This is a Christmas wreath, but we'll see another kind of wreath in the reading. Okay, next one. Oh, don't look! Bojimaseyo! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Bonghyo, <laughs> right? Because it's kyopchiyo. No more kyopchiyo, right? A little baby, right? But usually babies, they don't wear any clothes. It's obviously, of course, when they're first born, they're not wearing clothes, right? So what do we say? They are naked. 
We come into this world naked, right? We come into the world naked, and、uh, usually not so peaceful. But this baby is very peaceful, very cute, right? So, not wearing any clothes, somebody is naked. We'll see that in the reading. Okay, next one. Being a girl or woman, not male. So if we talk about, you know, there's there's about fifty percent of the people in the world are one sex or the other sex, right? There's male and then there's female, female, right? So male and female. Basically, everybody in the world is either male or female. So about maybe more, a little more than half of the people in the world are female. Okay. So being a girl, woman, not male. Next one. Of course, this is Korea, and you probably know where this is—the DMZ, right? An agreement that all fighting is stopped, right? It's just an agreement, and maybe the fighting is stopped for just a short time, but there hasn't been a formal agreement to stop it forever, right?、And、that's what Korea is under right now—a truce. You know, South Korea and North Korea—they never had a peace agreement. They're just under a truce. Technically, they're still at war. Right, but they have had a truce for more than 60 years. So a truce is just a—it's like a temporary、uh, stop to the fighting. Hopefully, it will be permanent. But、uh, a truce, and it's not just in Korea. Anywhere in the world where two、uh, groups are fighting, and they say, "Let's have a truce," that means a temporary, a short period where there's no fighting. Okay. A flat piece of metal given as a prize. He's proud too, right? He is proud. He has pride because why? He has a medal. If you do something great, whether in school or you、uh, in sports, you win a game or you win a tournament, they might give you a medal. Soldiers wear medals on their chest, right? So a medal is. A small piece of metal. It's usually decorated, looks nice, and it's given as a prize. It shows you were excellent in doing something. Okay. Next one is to shout for something good. I talked about this before, of course. It's to cheer. When I talked about the Olympics, I say you cheer. For your country, don't you? Of course, when you watch the Olympics every four years, you cheer for Korea, right? Dehan、uh, Minguk, right? You say,、uh, "Go Korea," right? So you cheer for your country, or you cheer for your team. You shout, you yell, you go crazy, right? Okay. Next one, a box that shows us moving pictures. A box that shows it. What? What is that? I've, have you ever seen one of those before? What could that be? Oh, it's a television, of course. Very common. I'm just kidding, of course. Everybody knows what a television is. It's like a box. Well, not anymore. It used to be a box. Now it's a very thin screen, right? But it used to be like a big box that was very heavy. But thankfully, technology has moved on. So anyway, television. You're watching a video screen right now. Maybe you're watching this on television. You're probably watching it on your computer screen. But anyway, television is where you watch TV shows and movies. Okay. Let's move on. Let's go over the. Words, the vocabulary. Okay, let's see how well you remember these words. Choose the word that best completes the sentence. We have words down here. We have a blank. We need to complete the sentence with these words. Let's take a look. I won't beep you to leave. You haven't done your homework. So, mom says this when the the boy or girl wants to go out and play. But mom says, I won't. What? You to leave. You need to stay here and finish your homework. You haven't done your homework. You need to stay here, do your homework, and then you can leave. Then I will beep you to leave. What? I will give you to leave. That doesn't make sense. I will honor you to leave. That doesn't make sense. I will compete you to leave, or I will allow you to leave. Aha.、Uh -huh. Allow sounds like it would be a good choice, right? I won't allow you to leave. That's the answer. I won't allow you to leave. I won't let you leave because you haven't done your homework. When you finish your homework, 
then I will allow you. Then you can go. Then you are able to leave. Right? I will give you permission. Okay. Number two. There is a beep storm outside. Let's stay in. So you want to stay inside because there's a storm outside. It's raining or it's snowing. The wind is blowing very strongly. It's very. It could be dangerous, strong and dangerous. So what can we say? There is a fierce storm. Fierce means dangerous, right? Strong and dangerous, right? So there's a fierce storm outside. That sounds good. Let's check the others. There's a peaceful storm. Oh, peaceful! It's very nice. Why would we stay inside? And have you ever heard of a storm that is peaceful? That doesn't make sense. There is a rude storm. <laughs> the wind's going by, going, yeah, get out of my way, right? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so C doesn't work. D. There's a slow storm outside. Let's stay in. In. That's a little bit isang hao. The best word is fierce. There's a fierce storm outside. Let's stay in. If there's a fierce storm, it means the wind is blowing really strong. It's very dangerous. Okay, so stay inside. Stay warm and stay safe. I was beep tired today. I only slept for four hours. So maybe you were playing video games late last night. No, not video games. You were studying, right? You were studying late last night, so you only slept for four hours. So if you if you only sleep for four hours, you're really tired, right? So how do we? What word means kind of like really or very? Does less? No, less doesn't mean really or very. B slowly. That doesn't make sense. C quickly. I was quickly tired today. That's strange. So D. I was especially. Aha.、Uh-huh. Especially means more than normal, like very or really. I was especially tired today. I only slept for four hours. So the answer, of course, is especially. I was especially tired today. Okay. Next one. Number four. That flag is the beep of our nation. I talked about this before, right? When we saw the picture of the dove, but I also gave you another example. I said the Taeguki, the Korean flag, is the beep of Korea, just like the stars and stripes is the beep for America, right? A flag is a what? A flag is a symbol of a nation. So that flag is the symbol of our nation, not the treat. Not the top, not the celebrity, but the symbol. You see it, and you think of something else. It's the symbol of our nation. Okay, next one, number five. I don't want to beep in the soccer game. Maybe you feel sick or you're injured, so you don't want to play soccer, right? You don't want to participate. What word means play in a game or participate in a contest? I don't want to forget. In the soccer game, that doesn't make sense because we don't use forget and in. I don't want to compete in the soccer game. Compete. Remember, compete means to use your skills to try to win in a contest, and that's what they're doing. So, compete is probably our word. But let's just check. I don't want to enjoy in the soccer game. That doesn't make sense because again, we don't say enjoy in. If in bego in bego hamyan right if in was gone right we could use I don't want to forget the soccer game I don't want to enjoy the soccer game those would make sense but because of in they don't make sense I don't want to allow the soccer game also if in was not there then we could say yeah it's possible I don't want to allow the soccer game it's too noisy. Uh, for example, I don't want to allow it, but because of in, because of in this one, this one, this one, and this one, they don't make sense. The only one that makes sense is compete. We compete in a game. We compete in a contest. So that's a good thing to remember. When you use the word compete, use the preposition in. I want to compete in the soccer game. I want to compete in the chess. Tournament. I want to compete in the tennis championships. You compete in something. Okay, number six. That singer is my favorite. Beep. She is so famous, right? We talked about what do we call very famous people? 
Engineer? No. <laughs> well, some engineers can be famous, but engineers aren't normally famous, right? A veterinarian? No, a veterinarian is just an animal doctor, not a famous person. C, a celebrity. Aha! That's the word we talked about before. Someone who's very, very famous is a celebrity. That's the answer, right? And D, doctor? No, because doctor is very similar to veterinarian. This one, this one, and this one are names of specific jobs. Engineer uh, builds buildings or makes sure things are working like machines and things like that. Veterinarian is a doctor who takes care of animals and of course a doctor takes care of people. They're just normal jobs. But a celebrity doesn't really mean a job, it means a person who is very famous. But it could be for anything, singing, acting, or for something that they did that was bad, right? Usually celebrities are positive though, right? Somebody who's famous, but it, we don't know what they do for a, a job. They're just very famous. Okay, next one. Number seven, do you want to beep to India with me? What word makes sense? Ask, travel, enjoy, compete. Do you want to compete to India with me? That sounds funny. Actually, the, what's the best answer here? If you choose B, you're right. Do you want to travel to India with me? Because that means let's go to another country or go on a long journey. Do you want to travel? Before I said you can travel around the world. Be careful. Don't say trip, right? Trip is a noun. Let's take a trip. Take a trip. Trip is a noun. It's not a verb. Right? Unless trip means you, you hit your foot on something and you fall down. Then you trip. But you don't want to trip to India because that's very painful. You want to travel to India. That's the verb. Travel to India. Trip is a noun. Okay, take a trip to India. But do you want to travel to India? Okay, number eight. You did very well in school. Your parents will be so what? If you do well in school, your parents, how will they feel? Will they feel calm, angry, <laughs> proud, or bored? Uh. <laughs> of course, your parents will be proud, right? You did very well in school. Your parents will be so proud. They won't be angry. That's crazy, right? They'll be very proud of you. They'll say, that's my kid, right? Uh, Joe or Sally did well in school. I'm very proud of my child. Okay? Okay, well that wraps it up for the vocabulary section. Let's take a short break here. We'll come back and take a look at the reading.